I haven't got a bang eye. <laughs> but I spent New Year's Eve sleeping with one eye open and one eye half open. Because that was destined to be my 2010 vision. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, um, I, I've actually been... I, I feel out of place when I go to McDonald's nowadays. Because I'm the only one without a laptop. Including the homeless people. But I, I, I'd like to understand technology a bit better, so I'll, I'll, I'll try to understand a lot of that stuff. And uh, I think I'm going to wait before I rush into any of this new gear. Um, you know, they, they have the iPod and the, and the iPhone. There's a new one, the iPad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm actually just going to wait till the one that comes with the corneal implant and get the eye patch. <laughs> <laughs> The, um, the internet's good for a whole lot of things, apart from what all those other fellows suggested to people. But um, you see the government have produced this My School website. So you can see how good your school is and whether you want to go somewhere else. So that's actually spawned another website. So if you want to change schools, you go to iSchool 2.0 and you upgrade. <laughs> the, uh, the other thing that's happening on the internet is the whole social networking thing, and, and social networking is global phenomenon, but it's about to become even more global because three of the majors are about to combine. So YouTube, Twitter and Facebook are now going to be known as YouTwitface. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have to give credit to my son for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so that, I mean that's technology, but you know, there's a lot of news about the moment. Um, have you heard about the pig lung transplant they're talking about at the moment? Yeah. You have to think about the repercussions of that sort of thing. I mean, if you had a pig lung transport, oh, sorry, transplant, would you have to go and work at Brumbies because you felt like bacon all the time? Oh. <laughs> or would you have to go on stage because at least part of you was ham? Oh. <laughs> the other thing I've noticed in the, in the news recently is the um, attacks on Indians has uh, become a, a rather large political problem and an international problem for us. Um, we, we have a bit of it, I'm, I'm from Brisbane, and we have a bit of it there that... Um, it's funny though, when, when there are attacks down here, the Indian Embassy get up and complain, and when there's an attack on, a, on an Indian in Brisbane, the um, Taxi Drivers Union get up in arms. <laughs> because they actually have their own website, it's called seek.com. <laughs> <laughs> but there was an Indian fellow down here who was supposedly doused with petrol and he had his car set on fire, and it's now transpired that he actually was trying to rip off the insurance company, he happened to be an idiot and set fire to himself as well as the car. And I think it's only fair, you know, I mean, he was trying to curry favour and he got burned in the end, and I think that's, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> they don't get any better, so... <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I think that, I think that the, the I mean, the, there's been a lot of talk about that saying, you know, it's all racially based, it's only Indians, and... And people will say, no, that's not true, it's just the way it's happened, numbers and everything else. But I think it is racially based, because you hear a lot about Indians being attacked. But I never hear anything about cowboys being attacked. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried to, uh, tried to understand a bit, of, uh, a bit more about modern music. Um, I'd like to congratulate Mumford and Sons on having the number one uh, hit in the 2009 Triple J Hottest 100 with the uh, Tiger Woods theme song. Little Lion Man. <laughs> Tiger Woods is supposed to be a, a sex addict who's in rehabilitation. Can somebody explain to me what withdrawal means in that circumstance? <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I actually, actually, has anyone seen that show Entourage? Yeah. I never have. <laughs> I'm glad you were here though, because I, I think Tiger Woods you know, must have travelled with a pretty large entourage. I mean, he had a caddy who would put his clubs in the bag to take to his room, and he had a pimp who would collect bags at the club to take to his room. It's <laughs> <laughs> not fair, is it? It's not fair. I mean, look, people, people have sort of held Tiger Woods up and had such great high hopes for him. Like Barack Obama. I mean, I want to know, is Barack Obama still the great white hope? Oh. <laughs> I may have to leave quickly, not just because of the jokes, but I'm expecting the lot of people to bring me a million dollars. Because I thought about buying a ticket the same way Barack Obama thought peace was a good idea and he got a Nobel Prize. Oh. <laughs> Brains are good, you know, I like it. <laughs> <laughs>
means he's still awake and breathing. <laughs> I, I do. I'm going to look in my pocket. I've done all of those. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that quick? <laughs> now, look, I, I would actually, I'd, I'd like to, on a serious note, pardon me, I'd like to put your hands together for the medical team here in Victoria uh, that successfully separated the conjoined twins, Krishna and Trishna. I think that's just fantastic. Yeah. 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 When there were two children that were born, and each of them had got ahead of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, that operation was 100% success, except for one thing. You know, they, they had to transfer veins and skin and do everything else to separate them. The only thing they couldn't share was hair follicles. So Trishna has a full head of hair. Uh, sorry, so Trishna is bald, will be bald for life. But her sister will always be a hairy Krishna. <laughs> I've been amazing in my own mind, and you've been out there listening. Thank you very much.